Hey everybody, I am doing a voiceover today. For some reason my mic hasn't been working and uh, I just maybe didn't have the batteries charged or something. So I'm working on an 18 by 24 canvas. This is uh, my Wilton icing spreader. I'm spreading the white mixture around. That is white artist loft mixed one to one with Oetrol. And I'll show you that there in a minute. I'm going to be working on a ribbon pour today. I really enjoy the abstract style of the ribbon pour on a large scale, so that's what I have in mind. And the colors that you see on the table are all just leftover colors that I've had in plastic cups and lids on them, and so they're all leftovers. And so that's how I came up with the color palette, which I wasn't real certain how it was going to turn out, but it actually uh, turned out pretty well. I really love the colors at the end. I hope you do. That's one of the little tricks I do is I drop the canvas on the table a few times and that kind of releases the air bubbles. kind of like dropping a or tapping a cake pan on a table uh, when you have cake batter in it and it releases the air bubbles on the top. So here's the Oetrol Easy Flow. It is a latex water-based paint conditioner. It's a European company. You can find it on oetrolusa.com or on Amazon. And I use this product. They give it to me graciously. And it's for those people that are outside of the United States especially who cannot get Floetrol. But it is pretty much exactly like Floetrol. All the paints are mixed one-to-one -one ratio with the Oetrol. And then I add water to get it to the consistency of warm honey running off the stick. The only true color that I know of for sure in this whole mixture of colors is that is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in the neon pink. The others were just kind of mixed here and there for different pores. And that is probably raw umber, and that's a rusty ochre red pink that I mixed and a probably a crimson red there but it's not any one particular brand that's a copper mixture so that's a metallic copper and I usually mix my own copper because many brands vary in the color that's metallic gold that is a deep violet and that's a lighter purple it's a purple but it's not the deepness of a dioxazine purple which can almost turn black when it dries this is a container that you keep the Arteza tube paints in, in a box of acrylic paints, like the uh, 24 or the 60 count set, and the tubes lay in there. And what I did was I cut off the end of one of the sides so that I could do a ribbon pour. And I'm not going to try to keep the colors separated in the different channels, I'm just wanting to layer the colors up in that and use it just to see what will happen. And all the colors probably have some sort of silicone or OGX in it, but I've stirred them up and I'm showing you here this is my new bookmark that I have. I don't use business cards, I make bookmarks and this was the older one where it had a peacock painting that I had done on it and Greg my husband who is really good at helping me with everything helped me design these cards I have one of my favorite art quotes on the front and this is uh, my new card it has part of my abstract flower garden pour on it 
and uh, we used a little Photoshop and fixed it up and there's the full painting on the back side it's got my website picture and the uh, social media things and my new location where I'm opening my studio up in Sanford North Carolina and there's the painting on the back and uh, just explaining how I had I was talking but since the microphone wasn't working I can't remember exactly what I'm saying there <laughs> But the cards are pretty hard uh, cardstock, and they have a slight luster to them. So they, they're not laminated, but they have a slight luster, so they're pretty good quality. And we order them online from overnightprinting.com or something like that. So I've spread the white out. I've let it settle. I'm going to do the ribbon pour, and like I said, I'm just going to layer the colors up in this little plastic tray. The only thing that probably does not have silicone or OGX in it would be the white. And I'm not really sure sure when I'm doing this at this point I'm not sure if I'll have cells or not because these paints have been sitting around for months some of them I did use the red and the pink in the uh, breast cancer awareness pores that I had done but the rest of it had been literally sitting around for a few months so I was not really sure how the cells would show up and I had to add, a, add more water to a few of them that had been sitting there and it had thickened up over time and they all seemed to to really do well so I wanted to do the pink pink and purple tones with the earthy warm colors and uh, so this is kind of what prompted me to choose these colors that I'm using I always have pretty much every color in the rainbow in my squirt, the squeeze bottles, but these were just ones that I needed to use up that were different from my squeeze bottle colors that I had in these little uh, plastic containers with the lids that you can seal up. And that neon pink is actually, that's a bubble bath bottle that I used. It was Calgon Take Me Away or something like that. As you see, I dripped on the canvas, but I'm not going to worry about it at this point. This is the the majority of the paint came out at the very left side there, so that's what I'm talking about. I, it came out kind of heavy. That's something if you're doing a a ribbon pour like this, if you can figure out a way to kind of evenly distribute the paint, so you don't have a lot on one end and not enough on the other. And as I'm tilting it here, the heaviness of the paint on the left side because it's so much thicker is moving but the right hand side is not moving because it's a lighter weight of paint because it's so much thinner on the canvas so after figuring that out I decided to go the opposite direction and just take that ribbon over to the corner there but I'm very pleasantly surprised at how much I really like the color combination that came out with these color choices. I like it so much that I think I'm going to do it again.
and the gold and copper metallics worked really well with this color combination. I was pleasantly surprised because sometimes your metallics don't show up like you would like for them to. That pink that I mixed was kind of like a bubblegum pink. When you, when you put it against the neon pink, it really looks gray down. And from this point, I'm going to just stop talking and just let you watch. I am going to stay, say though, right here. I decided to slow it down, and when I did, that helped disperse the paint a lot easier if you slow it down and don't take it so fast.
hope you enjoyed this. I uh, really, really loved doing this one. I just absolutely love the colors. They definitely speak to me, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And please uh, give me a thumbs up if you did like it, and subscribe to my page. Check on the uh, links below my video. I'm going to bring you down here. So here is one of the areas that I am totally loving this area. It's just, I love the layered look with a little bit of uh, lacing around the edges. So this goes to prove that you can let your paint sit for months and the silicone will still be active mixed into your paint. that's just the, my favorite area right here where that layer is. Just love the color combination. And I did go over some of the bubblegum pink areas that were kind of grayed up looking and covered them with more purple and stronger colors. And that raw umber does look like green, but it's not green. It is a dark brown. And I am really, really pleased with this piece. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell on the bottom right to get notifications when I post new things. And click on the links below. I've got my Amazon link recommendations, my PayPal account, my Patreon page my Facebook group who has a wonderful group of just talented pourers just like you and very encouraging and uplifting and if you want to post pictures there you can and make comments and if you don't want to you can just watch. So thank you so much for watching this today and I will see you on the next time. Have a great day.